Hi, welcome to Learning Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general weekly reading, okay, any area of your life for the, for Libra, I'm <laughs> sorry. You can have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus, or you can just be attracted to this reading, cross watchers, you can be dealing with the Libra, or you can just be attracted to this reading, okay, this could be any area of your life, it'll be for the week of uh, May 3rd through the 9th, 2021, okay. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, please show me Libra, please. Spirit, show me Libra. Alright, show me Libra, please, Spirit. Show me Libra for the week of May. Hanged man in the reverse. Four of cups. Show me Libra. The moon. The sun reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the ten of cups in the reverse. Breakup of a family or a divorce, possibly. Yeah, no commitment here. Could very well be a divorce or a bad contract here. Something is in a happy contract, but you're trying to manifest something. Could be dealing with a, a Gemini, Virgo, Taurus. Aquarius Scorpio, but it's just not manifesting. The money isn't manifesting, but you're trying really, really hard. But there was a, there, there's something about a bad contract or a contract that didn't come through like you thought it was going to, possibly. So, with a hanged man in the up, or excuse me, in reverse like this, there's a need to see things from a different perspective, but that's not happening. There's also possibly, there's some selfishness here. Jeal I'm getting jealousy too, as well. There's jealousy here or selfishness that needs to be addressed. Um, the hangman for me can also talk about someone who's a traitor. Um, there might be somebody coming back to you that might have been a traitor towards you if this is involving love. Could even be contracts. And they're trying to offer you something. You're like, you know what? I'm good. Got a lot of water here. There's secrets here. Um, also, a need for you to listen to your intuition. There is something that's definitely hidden that has been very unhappy for you. There's something coming towards you. It could be a Pisces or a Cancer, but it's not really... How do I say this? It's not really coming to fruition the way you wanted it to. There's illusions around it. There's secrets around it. There's unhappiness, too. There's needing to listen to your intuition. There is a lot of illusions um, there's things that possibly a Leo is keeping from you as well. Very strong Pisces, Cancer, Leo energy here. Very strong. Um, okay, let me go again. Let's see. All right, why is the hangman reverse here? Why is the hangman reverse, please? Why is the hangman reverse? Somebody isn't getting the... the Someone is very arrogant, too, and jealous. All right, show me the hangman reverse, please. Woo! Seven of Swords reverse. Somebody is getting caught in a trap that's going to cost them. Someone is literally, you might be, you might be catching someone cheating on you if you are in a relationship. Now, if you're not in a relationship, someone could be lying to you. Um, someone could be a traitor and they're lying to you and might even be stealing from you, but you're catching them. If that makes sense. Oh, okay. Show me the, show me the four of cups, please. You're catching them in the act possibly. Okay. Yep. Nine of swords here, but you're taking down one of these swords and you're slaying this dragon. You're like, you know what? You can, I don't want your stinking cup of love. If it comes with betrayal and being a traitor, I don't want this contract. Um, if it comes with betrayal and deception, if I don't get it, honestly, I don't want it. That makes it, if it's involving contracts, but I do get, mm, there you are. Justice. There you are. Justice is the equalizer. This is you, Libra. There is illusions and there's, you are showing up to bring clarity to the illusions here. Justice is the karma here, and justice is the equalizer. So you might be bringing justice to what was once um, illusionary, or there was something about your. Your 
someone really thinks that they got one over on you, possibly about something about when it, if it's legal matter, if it's money, but there's secrets in legalities as well. There's also, um, please take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, don't try to make it fit if it's not. I'm going to say that. Um, everything's subject to free will, including the will of the divine. No one's free from law of cause and effect. So what I, yeah. So there are secrets. You're, there's, secret, there's a secret new love that you don't know about. Now you could have a secret new love or your person could have a secret new love. There's secrets around a new love. Um, there's a strong need for you to really, really, really listen to your intuition. I mean, really, really, really listen to your intuition. Whomever's keeping secrets from you regarding love, new romance, new passion, new desire, secrets, okay, illusions. These are two cards of very strong illusions. It could be a secret woman or other man. Someone is also getting caught cheating. Cancer, Pisces. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. But there's illusions. <clears throat> Damn, okay. Someone's keeping a secret from you, and you know it. And it's regarding love. <clears throat> All right. Your intuition, yeah. Also, they're hiding money from you, possibly. Or receiving or giving money. There's unhappiness around your financial sector as well. Also, regarding legalities. Some of them might even get caught stealing from you. All right, show me the sun reverse. Oh, yeah, the devil. Someone has a lot of greed. Someone has addictions, toxicity, obsessions, possess uh, possessiveness, sex addiction. Someone's a liar and a thief. Capricorn energy. Someone could very well be lying to you about money and keeping it hidden from you. Someone's very greedy. Also, someone is a toxic love. Show me the devil. Why is the devil here? Yeah, oh yeah. Got the Ace of Swords reverse. There's going to be a major conflict and there's going to be, there's lies and deception here. There's something you're just not seeing. Clearly, show me the Ace of Swords reverse then. Yep, major fight, conflict, five of swords. Somebody just wants to win no matter what and is toxic. Someone, Someone's pathological lying is causing a lot of conflict and it's exceptionally toxic. You get two aces. There is lies around love. There's lies around finances. There are lies around legalities. There's lies. There's cheating. There's deception. There's conflicts. There's winning at all costs for the, or fighting for the sake of fighting for the three of swords here. And there's two on the ground. Somebody here is there's a heart. There's a fight about a betrayal. And then you add the sixth sword to that. Needing to, needing to move on to common water. Show me the nine of swords. I would just say, six of swords reverse because you can't move on until you slay this dragon. You can't move on until you know the truth, until you balance out these skills. You, you're, very, you're trying to balance them, something out. You may not be given the opportunity or somebody may not give you. Either you won't give somebody the opportunity to balance things out or they won't give it to you. But you're not. You're going to have to slay this dragon because you're struggling. You're kind of stuck. You're not quite able to move on because you know there is some bullshit going on. You know that there is lies about new love. You know that this is why you guys are fighting. You know there's something very toxic around money. There's hiding money. There's greed. There's obsession, sex addiction. There's um, lust, envy. Um, there's a secret affair. Or someone is straight up, you know, someone's cheating on you. Someone, there's a secret affair. Someone is talking and having relations, sex, whatever, with somebody else. You can't move on until you've seen it for yourself. You can't move on until you know for a fact you know, you have absolute clarity. Why? Okay, tell me more about this Ace of Swords reverse. And you're fighting to get the truth here. Or someone here might cause a fight with you just in order for them to go be with this other person. All right, show me, tell me more about the Ace of Swords reverse. Why? Tell me more about the lie. Someone hasn't stopped their toxic shit. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're, you were trying to get out of your head about this. You're trying not to ruminate about a conflict or a fight, but you know, you know, you know what's going on. And you trust that. All right, show me, tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Tell me more. King of Cups, Cancer. Well, excuse me, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but very strong Scorpio. Also, you have some another card here. You're going from a, this person sitting on this tree to a king. Like, you know what? I don't even need, I don't even need your stinking cup of love. I'll pour it out. I'm good. I'm good. Don't play games with me. And you give them a chance and then they still play games. But you're getting out of your head about this, though. All right. Show me the Seven of Swords reverse. You're catching a traitor in the act. You're catching someone lying, stealing, cheating, or being a traitor and very selfish in the act. 
red-handed. Show me the seven of swords reverse. You're catching somebody red-handed in something. Juggling, yep. Two of pentacles. Someone's very noncommittal and they are juggling you with someone else. Or you are juggling them with someone else. Okay, remember, it can always be vice versa. Show me the two, uh... Or excuse me, tell me more about the Seven of Swords reverse. Yep, Two of Swords in the reverse. Someone's indecisive because they're juggling you with someone else, period. Or there's, yeah, some, there also could be deception around making a decision around business too. That someone is not giving you an indecision is a decision. And the reason why is because they're juggling with another opportunity or potentials. Um, in some form of legalities, possibly. Okay, tell me more about the Seven of Swords then. Tell me more about Seven of Swords reverse. Three of Swords. Yeah, you are, you're going to need to recover from this. You're going to find out a whole bunch of bullshit. You're going to want to, you're going to be licking your wounds. You're going to think, okay, well, I thought we were over this. We were healing from this. Now I catch you again doing the same shit. No. <laughs> Anything else about the Seven of Swords? No. Just, no. Keeping secrets, illusions. But karma, I feel like you're in your power. Karma is on your side here. Libra, I gotta say, you are in your power. You know there's secrets here. You're in your power and karma is coming because there's illusions here that need to be revealed. And it's regarding love and dishonesty and toxicity and arguments and cheating and being deceptive and manipulative. And very, very, there's a lot of hidden codependency here. Show me the Seven of Swords reverse, please. The Hermit card. Virgo energy. You're going to recover from this? You're going to be like, okay, I thought we were recovering from this. But clearly, you're still doing all this stupid shit. So, I'm going to go within on my spiritual path. And I'm going to seek personal truth and clarity. Because clearly, this person, you might be telling this person, clearly, you're not capable of being an honest person. Somebody here has a pathological lying problem. Big time. Big time. Anything else but the Seven of Swords reverse? Big time. And they're a play. Yeah. We also have the Four of Wands reverse. So if you are married to this person or in some form of a committed relationship, you are not going to continue on with this person after the fact. Once you find this out, you're going to be like, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm good. Mm -mm. Um, you also might be wanting this person. Now, you might be the third party and you know this person's married. Or in some form of a, a marriage or some form of a long standing commitment. And there might be legalities involved. But you're starting to pick up on this person was just playing you. They have, you might think that they're going to leave this person. But they're in, no, their indecision is a decision. They just wanted to play games. They're not going to be, they're not moving on from it. Yeah, there's love here. But they're, they know that there's going to be a lot of fights around like around money and assets. And it'll be like, there's a lot of secrets around the devil and toxicity and codependency. So, you could be the third party. You could have a third party, Libra, or Crosswatcher. You could be with a Libra and have a third party. So, if there's anything that's going on with that, it's about to be revealed. It's coming to light. The truth is coming out. Anything else about the Seven of Swords reverse? Wait, you flipped? Yeah. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's going back home. They don't want to leave. They want to go back home. They want to seek forgiveness. Yeah. They're letting go possibly of this connection or you are. Somebody here is letting go. Not holding on so tightly because they want to return back home to somebody. Yep. Ten of Swords. Painful endings here. Someone is worried about a painful ending with a marriage or with you or some long-standing commitment because of money involved. So they'd much rather stay in a very toxic, codependent, dishonest, cheating, unhappy, deception, illusionary, fake ass relationship in order to then then end it to be happy. Someone seriously has a pathological lying problem. I get that really strongly. Someone is afraid to end something, so they're very indecisive and wishy washy. So you just, you're like, well, fuck it, okay? I don't want the cup then. Give it to somebody else. All right, show me the Ace of Swords reverse. Tell me more. Yeah, King of Swords, okay? Aquarius energy. You could be involved with Aquarius. Or this, if you're a masculine Libra, this could be you as well as this. You're in your power. You know the truth. 
you already know what's up. You know what's going on. Someone's made bad decisions. Someone is not getting the wake-up call. Someone is not learning from their past mistakes. Sagittarius Scorpio energy. No. They just, they're, it's time to walk. I feel like it's time to walk, but obviously this is your life. Right? Let's see. Signs you could possibly be dealing with. We got Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, uh, Libra. Aquarius, Libra. You can be another Libra. This could be about you. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, or excuse me, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius. Or if you're a male Lib Libra, uh, Libra, this is you. Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, and we also have Sagittarius and Scorpio. So those are the signs that I have. So let's see a potential outcome. Okay, Spirit. If everything was to stay on present course as it is right now, what is a potential outcome for this reading? The moon. More illusions. A lot of secrets. Illusions. You need to listen to your intuition. It'll be more of the same. Because someone isn't getting the, the lesson here. Someone isn't understanding what the lesson is because they're not suffering consequences. Or you're not. Two of swords. For this time, needing we'll make a decision. Having a choice between two, but we'll make a decision. It's time to take those blindfolds off, though. Yep, and someone's making the decision to end it. So either you're ending something or they're ending something. Somebody here, a Cancer, a Pisces, is ending something, making, choosing to end something, no matter how painful it is. You have three tens. Two of the, two are the same. Anything else? Because someone, it's like one too many times being stabbed in the back over the same shit. One too many times. Okay. Yeah, Three of Cups. There will be a celebration, but it could also be because the, the reason why it's ending is because there's third-party influences. But you're calling somebody out on their bullshit, though. Anything else, please? Possible outcome. And your healing. Also, needing to balance things out within yourself. Go from Three Cups to Two Cups, even though it's a temperance Sagittarius energy. But you're healing... Anything else? King of Cups from somebody who was very emotionally deceptive um, and manipulative as well. Emotionally out of control. Anything else for a potential uh, outcome of this reading? Anything else, please, Spirit? It's going to hurt like hell. Yeah, because you want reciprocity, you will give and take, and you weren't receiving that. You don't want someone who's just going to charm your pants off. You want somebody who's going to actually show up and be there. Tower. Bottom of the deck, because of lies and betrayal and deception. And you saw this. This is you. You saw it. You saw the truth. You saw the truth. And there's that. All right, let me get you some oracle cards. Let's see. And, you know, you saw the facts. All right, Spirit. Any guidance, please, in love? I feel like this is love, mostly. It could be even about business, but I feel like it's mostly love. Any guidance, please? You are not required to take it by any means. Any guidance, please, for Libra regarding this relationship? Any guidance, please? Passion. Insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. You might be meeting somebody new or this is what's going on. Yeah, the end of it. The Grand Reefer. It was good while it lasted. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. It's over. Whew. Um, okay. Let me get you some moon cards. Let's see. Okay, Spirit. What other guidance do you have for my Libras and our cross watchers, please? Someone, you're ending something because you're finding out that somebody else has someone else or they're ending it with you or you might be in it with them because you have someone else okay place it where it is or not at all anything else please for my libras and cross watchers please don't let your past hold you back uh amen to that okay the end of a tough cycle approaches yep we don't want a capricorn um a time for healing absolutely 
it's not going to be easy, but hold your vision, though, what you deserve and what is best for you. Anything else from my Libra fan across Dr. Spirit? Okay, a new start is coming. Yep. Then we also have Believe in the Impossible and a Fiery Climax Approaches Full Moon in Aries because you're not going to take somebody playing you for a fool. Okay, Libra, this is what I have for you. Uh, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, please take care of yourself. Until next time.